Welcome, everyone. I'm grateful to be here. Um, thank you to uh, Chris Summers for inviting me to speak here before you today. I'm honored, truly am. I am, I'm the rabbi of Temple B'nai B'rith. I don't speak for my temple. I wouldn't dare in which to assume that my opinion is everyone's. Just like everyone here, I wouldn't assume that the way I believe is the way you believe. We are here, we come from so many different circumstances, so many different walks of life, so many different countries. And we come here united in a single purpose, which is saying, let the people in. We disagree with the policies. We disagree with the way it was handled. There's a lot we disagree with. Fact is, I know, I know, I disagree probably with a lot of you here on certain things. And that's important. Because right now I think there is something going on that is deeply disturbing, and that's the quest for loyalty. Almost like there's a loyalty test in our government, which I have a deep disregard for. We have to be able, we have to be able to disagree with each other with respect. This is something that we need to work on both as a group ourselves, but also from the other side as well. Now, to say that, yes, immigrants should come to me is not enough. Because there's the question, okay, are there terrorists? Yes. Great. That's not enough. We as a country are a nation built on immigrants. Yeah. Yeah. We first came here a long time ago as immigrants, and again, and again, as their nation slowly became stronger, when immigrants came, we decided to start making sure that not everyone who wanted to come could come. We started worrying about who was coming in our country. In the 19th century, it was the Germans and the Russians that were coming and we were concerned. 1930s, it was the Jews who were coming and they were worried and concerned from about their country of origin. We as a nation have always been concerned about immigration, though that's where we came from. In the 1900s, my, grand my grandparents and great-grandparents came to this country looking for a better life. My great-great-uncle was illegally conscripted into the Russian army, because that was the way you did it back then. They were escaping political oppression. That's what people have been doing for decade upon century, escaping what was their homeland and trying to build a life. Much like our immigrants are today who have been turned back at our borders. This isn't anything new. If you think about the ship, the St. Louis, for those of you who are familiar, was a ship of people fleeing the war in Germany, looking for freedom, looking for a safe homeland. And they were turned back at every gate until they had to return to their homeland where they were eventually consumed by the fires of war. We are a nation built on immigration. To deny our history is to disgrace our present. And we must not do that. We must fight with every ounce of our being to say, we are that nation of immigrants. We must bring them in. This is who we are. Whether we're Jew, Muslim, or Christian, whether we're Japanese, German, or Arabic, Wherever we come from, we are that nation. And we must honor that by bringing and not having just people cut off. People who are legal to be here. Woo. So for, this is, if I have a message, if I had a message about letting people in, saying that immigrants are a part of what we are and need to do, it's about how we fight intolerance. Now intolerance is that whole thing that the other person, that stranger who is among us, is dangerous. 
That's something that we've been teaching our children for so long, and it has to stop. That the dangerous stranger that we don't know must be turned back. But we have to bring them in. We must embrace them if we are to save the soul of America. All are welcome. Let them in. Woo!